Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back. Brandon again in the basement of the day to talk about what I think is the best leg roller attachment for your one inch power racks. Now I'm posting this video because I've seen this question come up from a couple of people who've been asking which leg roller should you get? And you'd think that they are pretty simple and truth be told, they are. However, out of the three that I've used, I think the Rogue Fitness Monster one is better than the Rep Fitness and Sorenex models, and I'm gonna show you why in just a second. All right, so taking a look at these, they're all very similar in design. Now, I will note that these are actually the weight storage utility pins from both Rep Fitness in the middle, Sorenex on top. I have had the Rep Fitness leg roller before as part of my PR5000 V2 rack that I had. However, the thing is, is these are very similar to how the leg rollers attach, and that's the real big difference between these. As I mentioned already, there's not a huge difference, but it does make a big difference in the long run. So just for example, when I take a look at the Sorenex version and give it a little bit of play, it moves around a lot. The rep version, same thing. This is gonna be an ASMR video before it's over. And then finally the Rogue version, you see the whole lever arm is moving and the Rogue version is standing strong. And that's why I think that this is the best version. If you take a look at the way they attach, this uses one of their monster bolts that you can just literally unscrew. So it's still a quick attached one. It's not physically bolted on where you need a wrench to get it off, but you can tighten it to your liking so that there is no extra slop without having to move this whole lever arm as opposed to the rep version or the Sornex version, which just uses these pins to hold them in, and thus it leaves these things pretty loose overall. Again, not a big deal, but when you're using them for exercises, it's definitely off-putting to have this thing move around, and I prefer a firmer pad. So because the Rogue One mounts the best and is the most stable, I feel like it's the best for doing a lot of exercises you might use a leg roller for. Now for me personally, I predominantly use this for single leg exercises with dumbbells or kettlebells, but you can use it for a host of other things, including barbells, safety squat bar type stuff. You could double up on these and use them as a way to hold yourself down during a lap pull down, but they are a relatively inexpensive option when you're taking a look at accessories for racks. And I do think that they're pretty versatile and offer a lot of room to play with and invent your own movements. I've actually seen people do glute ham raises and back extensions with setups just using leg roller attachments on a rack. So if you're interested in this one, it retails for $115. I'll link it in the description box below. In terms of the price of the other models, like I said, I think this is superior because of the way that it mounts. The Sornex one retails for $92 before shipping. The Rep one's like $100. So they're all relatively the same price but I think you get a little bit more bang for your buck with the Rogue Monster version. Hopefully this video helps. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. In the meantime, as always, thanks for watching and stay big.